Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. I'm gonna talk about a story out of Reuters right now, and it is uh, global banks cut jobs as cost pressures mount. We're gonna talk about that, and then also I'm gonna encourage you to go check out my other channel, Real Estate Ninja, where I'm gonna be talking about Wells Fargo stepping back from the mortgage industry right now after the Fed rate hikes helped crater the US housing market. It's very important that you see the signs of the times so that you can plan properly and know when to purchase. That's not now. We are going to see a massive, massive draw or a change from a raising rate environment to sort of a plateau to then an absolute cratering because Remember, the plateau, while that's happening, the pressure is mounting and mounting and mounting, and then all of a sudden they have to start dropping rates after equity markets collapse, after housing prices collapse, after car prices collapse to boost it back up. This is the exact same thing over and over again. All right, guys, let's do this. Uh, global banks, again, cut jobs as cost pressures mount, which show you the true health of the banks. They are trying to save themselves, and one way they do that is to cut cuss, Caught, cut costs and uh, lay people off. It says, this is out of London, uh, global banks are in the process of cutting over 6,000 jobs as profits at lucrative investment banking units come under pressure from volatility in capital markets and fast rising interest rates, according to Reuters' tally of reported cuts. Rapidly deteriorating economic conditions have also prompted lenders to build rainy day funds to brace for potential defaults. The following major banks have announced or been reported to be making job cuts. First off, Barclays cut its workforce in corporate and investment banking by under 3% uh, eight weeks, or sorry, on November 8th, weeks after reporting a 45% slump in merger advisory fees. Uh, Citigroup eliminated dozens of jobs across its investment banking division as deal-making slumps continued to weigh on Wall Street's biggest banks' names. Let's see. Credit Suisse. Credit Suisse is accelerating cost cuts. Chairman Axel Lehman, interesting name, said on December 2nd, confirming a Reuters report as a bank uh, races to slash its cost base by around $2.5 billion. Credit Suisse also, or sorry, had already said it would lay off some staff. The cost savings reported are likely to involve more job cuts than previously announced. Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank, uh, which is Germany's largest bank, cut, its, uh, cut staff in its investment bank's origin and advisory teams in October in a move that affected mostly junior bankers. The cuts included dozens of staff in New York and London. Uh, HSBC, under pressure from its, from its biggest shareholder, China Ping and Insurance Group, to improve profit, HSBC Chief Executive Noel Quinn has in recent months accelerated plans to shrink its global empire and streamline its management. The bank also announced it is selling its Canadian business for $10 billion, removing around 4,000 employees from its wage bill in one stroke. How about Morgan Stanley? In December, Morgan Stanley slashed about 2% of its workforce, a source familiar with the company company's plans, told Reuters. The cuts reportedly affected about 1,600 positions. Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo slashing hundreds of jobs in its mortgage business. Ironically, this story came out a couple of days ago, and we're going to be talking about that on The Real Estate Ninja, so I want to remind you to go and check out The Real Estate Ninja. Uh, after this, I will uh, put a link in the descriptions uh, of this video. Uh, they say right here, uh, this is on quote, we regularly review and adjust staffing levels to align with market conditions and the needs of our business. And the bank had said in an emailed statement to Reuters at the time, this is why it's so vital that if you are in this industry, that you understand the cycles and how prone you can be to being laid off. I don't want you to have a surprise. I want you to be able to crush it in this next real estate cycle. And that's why I want you to know these signs and, and be able to put together all these signs and different languages that come 
a, a media that bombards you all the time and be able to see what's coming. Uh, Bank of New York Mellon Corp. Uh, is preparing to cut 3% of jobs this year, according to a source familiar with the matter. The cuts would affect around 1,500. Guys, the list keeps going on. I don't want to waste your time. The point is this. The reason why banks are cutting is because eliminating jobs and cutting costs at any... Uh, any way possible is because they are hurting. And this exact same thing happened in 2006. And by two, mid-2007 to 2008, they were going to the Fed saying, we need help, we need you to lower rates. The exact same cycle is persisting now. And I want people to be ready for it because I want you to own more real estate than you've ever owned in your life. I want you to own it and be good human beings with it and take care of your tenants and be able to encourage and inspire and educate them as well. Because the only way we can take this world back is through getting out of debt and owning the land. Guys, this is your time to succeed. This is your time for excellence. Let's do this together. The Economic Ninja is out.